again with another reaction video, man. Back at it again with another banger, man. Second reaction video of the day, man. Hope you guys are enjoying those reaction videos, man. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Staying lit, staying on top of your grind. Last night, I was getting to that bag. We'll get that bag. Why don't go get it? Nobody's going to get it for you, man. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know how we do. Man, only the second reaction video. I got a total of six for y'all today. The last one uh, is a nuke reaction, but it's going to be two parts because it's 23 minutes long. I'm not trying to keep my videos longer than 10 minutes nowadays. But yeah, you feel me? This one's going to be about 15 minutes. I know I said I'm not trying to keep them more than 10 minutes, but giving it an exception because it's nuke. So let's see what's going on, man. Six girls versus one secret boy, man. Jubilee. Jubilee. Y'all been rocking. Y'all been doing y'all thing. Y'all been doing y'all been doing some good shit. So let's see what's going on, man. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. I am a girl. 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 One of them is live. I'm from Huntington Beach. So let's see. And I'm 24. I'm Hania. I'm 26, and I'm from Inglewood. I'm Sang. Um, I'm 23, and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Mia. I'm 19, and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste. I'm Cali. 19, and I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey. California. I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name California. is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work, Ooh, but wow. yeah. For the most part, my technique coming in with it is Nigga, like a more masculine weird. take on it, because if I was too girly, then it would be too obvious. What's everyone wearing? I'm in some Nigga, sambas, black jeans, and like a light green. Voice. That's Shut funny as hell. Okay. 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 I'm wearing Levi's, um, a like bodysuit and then dunks and a little cardigan too. I'm wearing like a purple skirt, like a white off the shoulder top kind of. Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh, <laughs> I'm a size 10. 10? Yeah, 10 in women. How tall are men. you? 5'10. Oh, Ooh, yeah, okay. so that makes sense. I'm yeah, a short girly. I'm 4'11 without these heels on. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, on a good day, I'm 5'4", though. I am wearing size 7.5. I think it's pretty mm, average yeah. for girls, I guess. Mm. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size f like 5. I'm 6 foot, and I have a shoe size of 9, so. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like your biggest insecurity? Bro, what the Ooh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first, just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions and having a lot of large role in the discussion. I got a big old forehead. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone with a regular forehead because <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got regular foreheads. Like I'm getting what regular the? forehead energy what? here. <laughs> laughing was a big thing for me. They were laughing a ton and I was trying to, I was trying to like, <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying my best. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back and it's, pretty bad especially when I want to go to the beach and so it can be pretty annoying mm -hmm. I have a I have another question <laughs> what's your like fuck? usual go-to style yeah. for me not I think I would say like an urban like comfy style I'm not super fancy as a person so um, yeah I'd say urban comfy whatever is currently in style I try to stick to that yeah for that's the most how part. I feel too I mean I try to keep mine just like timeless wearing timeless like pieces that yeah. like mm -hmm. keep that makes sense. That practical. makes sense. I'm wearing a tank top right now, so <laughs> it works out. What did you guys want to be when Nigga, like, you were a little girl? I really wanted Yo! to be a veterinarian. Nigga is lying his ass off, bro. This shit funny as hell. This Same. I really yeah. loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. I'm actually, I have horses back in Washington, <gasps> so. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One I of them's name that. is Scooby Doo. <gasps> it's Scooby Doo. Yeah. I love He's that. adorable. <laughs> I assembled like a Scooby speech Doo. for certain questions, but there were certain questions that were just completely off what they were like off the page, like the horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> for me, I've always wanted to be like a singer, songwriter. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Can you sing? So I'm assuming you can sing. Nigga yeah, I do write my own songs. I like really That's how easy it is for niggas to be like bro. your first fan. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Awesome. yeah, for Support. sure. That'd be awesome. Casey's voice is kind of high. So it, it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie. And that doesn't just 
happen. I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. Oh. You mean that doesn't and, just and then I got to UCLA and took chemistry. So many girls. Uh, and I was like, like, oh, we gonna here. switch that around to something else. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pre Yeah, I was like biochem. Like, so I was like, oh, absolutely not. I'm a stand up comedian now, though. I don't know. That's completely different than where we started. It was almost like when you know somebody's lying because they explain too much. That's what it was like. Okay, she she planned this Ania. script out pretty well. So, so did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yes. Yeah. I went to UCI, Irvine. Oh. Okay. I graduated from like a small little school in Boston. Um, it's called LaSalle, but it's not really well known. But yeah, so I was over there for four years, and then this is like my first full year being back. <laughs> Yeah. The one in the middle is really trying to hear, hey, like, what the fuck do you think I'm going to win this episode? Be sure. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, do you think I'm going to win this episode? Bro, Be sure to like regular. and subscribe, and let's get back to the video. My nigga, just talk regular. They're going to say Hania. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. shit. Oh, we don't trust each other. Oh, ready? <laughs> this is... We will just move on to round two with all of you. Oh, shit. I have the first question. Okay. okay. What was you guys' first period like? I was just going to ask that. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we got to get down to the nitty gritty so, now. For me, I knew what was going on because I read like the American Girl doll books and oh everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, for me, I w it was over the summer before ninth grade. Bro, how does he notice it, though? Practice, like, he knows about how to talk, like, oh, bro. That's well, crazy. I guess I'm a woman now. I was like, I was kind of behind everybody else so I knew it was mm. gonna come soon so mm -hmm. I was kind of ready for it. I was in the sixth grade bathroom and I was freaking out and my friends are outside so when I got home I told my mom and she just like shoved me a pad and said hey try that like put this on <laughs> and then here she never I don't know it's like maybe it's an Asian thing she's just never talked to me about it. I think I was in seventh grade I'm pretty sure. I was at home and I like went to the bathroom and I saw that there was blood and I didn't know what to do I didn't want to call my mom for some reason so I called my cousin I was like I don't know what's going on, like help me. <laughs> and and come on, guys. I did, which oh. was like the funny part. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know, I, and then I eventually told my mom like after mm -hmm. her, but yeah, yeah okay. my cousin was the first one. Okay, I was, okay. I was in seventh grade math class and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird like sensation below my stomach and I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But eventually I just ran to the bathroom because I just didn't feel good. Okay, there's no way one of you isn't a girl. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> and I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so I just went with it. <laughs> Name something Yo, really specific that is, only Yo, a girl would get. Liar, like specific. Though. Don't just say pad. This um, I have liar. really insane cramps, so I have Midol on me at all times. Okay, that's specific. Midol. Um, mm -hmm. At all times I have to have it. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pains, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, same. Like, like right my period. period. Is anyone irregular? Well, I started birth control, and like oh, yeah. it's really screwed me up. Like I started mm -hmm. the next plan on, so that's something another girl might specific. Everyone else. That's yes, specific. Yes. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh so yeah. man. Hundred yeah. percent. It's really disgusting, kind of what happens when you're just existing as a woman. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh. No, nah, that's crazy. You say that's yes crazy. as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, so preach to them. Yeah. So, I, don't know. I would say people like the really hyper vigilance required to like go places by yourself. Either you fuck it or not. Yeah, no there's little things we exactly. do it's that you can or not, I don't know if real. everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears right. ain't no music yeah. playing. Let me just, oh, yeah. the let me just look down on my phone. Ain't nobody oh, yeah. even telling me. Yeah. The screen be black. It becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be a normal to always yeah. have to feel like mm -hmm. you have to protect yourself like a right. force field. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone or like if you want to share like that has experienced sexual assault? Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. I've fuck? came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly, and I'm proud of myself. I've experienced sexual assault, and I think it does have a very, like, it hawks your your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally. I ain't gonna lie, why are you talking about that with complete strangers? Explain. But she is a comedian, so that makes sense, okay. 
She's a stand-up kind of gal. Right. But there's a lot of emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve to to even volunteer yourself as Tribune to say yeah. Yeah. that, um, acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me because mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, yeah. you know, like, it's almost like I'm pitying myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't even know what to call it. Like yeah. survivor yeah. and like, I don't even know. Like, it's just weird. It's just hard. But yeah. that's crazy, if I'm any, not gonna lie. Any word that feels that's comfortable crazy. to you. And that nigga, uh, whatever the fuck his name is, Matt, Nat, I forget what the fuck his name is. Nigga barely talked at all. Uh... I made it past one round. That's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually happy that I was the first one voted out, so, yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper, because I need to figure out who the wall yeah. is. Yeah, go deep. Let's, How let's do you guys feel about abortion? Oh, um, you get deep. <laughs> For me, I'm pro-choice. I believe everyone fun. has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. And yeah. within pro-choice also exists in life know. if you believe that you but are pro-life for the yourself. Girl. I, don't know. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself just because I... I don't know, it's scary to go through just a medical procedure. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, you do, you like do. you do. Like, it's fine. Like, you that's the whole point of pro-choice, I feel like. And the exactly. government shouldn't be the ones deciding, so. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Who's like a like a good like role model that you have like a woman role model That's in your really life? That's really good. Mm. Um, my mom. I don't want to be cliche, but I'm gonna have to say my mother. Say Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking Duh. that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like sense, she blows my, my mind. It's it's like, it truly flabbergasts me. The things that That's moms do. That's the only thing do. that makes sense and they make it seem like it's slight work. My go-to person is my dad. Like, he is everything to me, and he has taught me what it is to be an upstanding She's gonna get kicked out society first. And to respect She's everyone, gonna get kicked so out I first. Just, yeah. Damn, what the fuck? Uh... If you wanna keep playing because you think the mole is in the box, raise your hand. I knew she was gonna get kicked out, I knew. Okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go and for it. I have it. a reason. Um, Hania, what's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic, mm -hmm. and I just like and like you've been kind of really talkative recently. So like that kind of like red flagged me a little bit. Oh, let me fix that up for you. So, <laughs> um, I also did. I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault. So abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice. So the whole conversation when I when I debate that makes about sense. it. It, it does sense. give me a little triggered, so I usually refrain from heavily, like, impactful, like, my opinion of what I have to say about it. That's understandable. But I'm, I ain't mad at you, though, girl. Sure. <laughs> okay, okay, green flag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, Casey, Nigga said, okay, the, green flag. Uh, songwriter? Who's yes. No, okay. Fuck. Can I ask you something, Casey? Yes. What is the, the metal U-shaped thing in your bra? Do you know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. I do not. The underwire? Yeah, the underwire. Oh, in your the bra. underwire. I thought you meant something else, because that's like on both cups. What's something that like you wish you didn't experience? Bro, they about to, they about to boo her the fuck out of there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So real. Yep. Fuck so out of real. Out of Mustache sweat. <laughs> they about to boo her out of there. Nah, she's gone. Ah. Uh... I asked told a you, bro. She's gone. The they bra. I didn't the know the answers. So I was like, okay, they're gonna vote me out. I knew it. <laughs> I mean, to count the three. And she said, well, "How old was she?" The mole is still in the box. You will raise your hand. One, two, three. Hey, you know playing along and finding the mole is fun and all, but want to know what's even what more fun? What the fuck? Finding is pleasure that within yourself. Are, Are you wondering, wondering what, what that means? means? Well, well, come a little, little closer, closer and we'll tell you. What the fuck is that the good? And what's so great is that everyone can experience it. Nah, Explore what this looks like for you on. and all the wonders of self-love with Lilo. So what are you waiting uh, for? Get oh, uh, this is a... I understand what that was. That was a, uh, a sponsor. She's like, I'm a motherfucking man. Hey. <gasps> no, what? honestly, it's it's a weird experience, what? but no, it starts up here. It's cool. It goes ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> my Whoa. Wait, I, oh my god! Nat looks what like he was in like High School Musical or something, like Camp Rock. So when I opened what my eyes fuck? and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay, 
You got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do like Omegle content, and then I what? went to like, oh. some gaming stuff, and so yeah, that's oh what I do for a That's That's crazy. Whoa! No. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> Wait, no. Did you guys have a good question? Yeah. 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 Bro, look how all of them stepped back when they found out that nigga was a man. Because that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's exactly Whoa. what we're teaching. Oh, no. Whoa. Being 6'4", I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to like go in there and try to be she somebody that I'm not. Foot. I was scared coming into this because I didn't want to fall into stereotypes. Because I know I don't want people to stereotype me. I don't want... Like, no one wants that. No one wants Bro, to be Bro, niggas are gonna stereotype you I was regardless. thinking about just busting out a different voice. It's like, oh my god, you have no idea. No! So, oh, you got All right, yeah, I'm turning that off, man. You let me know how I like that reaction video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification button, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. As always, uni out, man.